transmission fluid is slightly dark, smells slightly burned, so it's a good idea. I'm going to jack up the car a little bit so I can fit under there enough to reach the drain plug. Just in case the jack somehow lets loose, I don't want the car to fall on me. That's my safety precaution. There's the drain plug right there. It's the same size as the ratchet wrench. There's the oil. You can see it's it's not clean. I think we might have to lower the car to drain it the rest of the way. It's tipped the wrong way. So I'm going to have to lower the car for a minute to complete the draining. There's a seal ring which is optional if you want to replace it. Makes it easier to seal, but whether you reuse the old one or replace it, just make sure it's there. Either the new one or the old one. So it doesn't leak. Tighten it finger tight. Okay, once it's finger tight, then just a little bit more. That's all there is to it. Just a slight crush on that aluminum seal washer. Now, it's just a matter of filling the fluid level back to the appropriate level. This is how much oil came out. And you can take it to your local gas station and they'll dispose of it for you. Put it in a plastic container however you want to transport it without spilling it and you can see it's dirty in the case of this car it's a Honda Honda has its own transmission fluid it's important that whatever car you're changing the fluid on you match the correct automatic transmission fluid they can tell you at the parts store what it is and when you pick up the fluid pick up a long funnel as well buy one for under ten dollars the fluid goes in the dipstick hole just put the funnel in place and pour it in you can see the funnel down in the dipstick hole and just Gently pour it in, hold on to the funnel a little bit so it doesn't tip over and spill a big mess. You can, the color of the new fluid is a vibrant bright red. This is the third quart. The guy at the Honda store in the parts department told me that the specification is three quarts, so I'm going to check the level about halfway through this one. Automatic transmission fluid is high in detergents and other solvents that keep the transmission clean and working properly. So if you don't if it's not changed regularly, it can interfere with proper shifting and prematurely wear out the transmission. And if you clean a dirty transmission or change the oil once it's dirty, you can rejuvenate 
an older transmission that's not working properly. I've been told by numerous people that changing the transmission fluid on a car that is in bad shape and has really dirty transmission oil actually makes it worse. And to some extent that's true. I think it cleans out a lot of the built on glazed material and makes the transmission work poorly in the short term. So you might have to change it the second time to get all that out and get the oil fresh again. So don't be afraid to change it. Just take it easy for the first couple of weeks and change it again if you've had really dirty oil. On a Honda, it shows the level on the dipstick that we need. On a Honda, you can check the fluid level with the engine off. Unlike most cars, you need the engine running and in park, but not the Honda. Well, that looks about perfect. Let's check it one more time. Okay, it looks to be perfect. Let's turn the car on, shift it through all the gears, turn it back off, and recheck it. With the car in place, I turned the engine on, just shifted the gears all the way from low, to reverse, neutral, all the different positions with the car in place. Let it run just a moment or two. Put it back in park and turn it off. So let's check the fluid level one last time. And after running the car and shifting it, the fluid level has gone down. On to recheck it. Already gone through that procedure. It looks like it'll take the other half of the quart, totaling about three, just like the guy at the parts store said. Going to give it a minute to drain down through the tube so that when I pull the funnel out it doesn't make an enormous mess. Perfect. The level is comes right up to the top of the cross marks on the dipstick tube. And even though not changing all the fluid in the transmission may hold as many as nine quarts full. I know you can look it up, I guess, if you want to be exact. Certainly, three new quarts of fluid will greatly improve the cleansing and detergent action. And with regular maintenance, maybe every 30,000 miles, this should greatly extend the life of the transmission. Thanks.